Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. Now, if you true to this and you ain't new to this, what do I always say to y'all? To you, welcome back. It's a road trip. I say we because I'm not in the car by myself today. Got Kate and Simone in the rear, riding shotgun. We got Colina, Coco Brown, 22 KOs, zero losses, undefeated. For real though. <laughs> we are on our way to Oklahoma. I was gonna say that none of us have ever been to Oklahoma, but there's a casino in Oklahoma, so you know what that means. Colina has been to Oklahoma. And I'm on my way to the Texas Chefs Convention. No, back that up. The Texas Chefs Association State Convention. Let me get it right, put some respect on their name. Been following along, you know that my goal has been to step out of the kitchen and to travel the world to share the good news about the low country, the culture and the food and so, they called your girl up and they said, girl, Chef Jolie, we would like for you to come to Oklahoma to our annual state convention and you can talk about whatever you want to. The floor is yours. So we are on our way. Today is Sunday. We'll be there until Tuesday. So y'all coming along to hang out with us and see how it goes. So let's hit the road. Before we get on the road, gotta make just one stop. I hope everybody used the bathroom because after this stop, we ain't stopping until we hit Choctaw Casino. This is where we are stopping. We are stopping at Kroger. Gotta pick up some dry ice because I have a few ingredients that I am bringing along with me for my demo. So we're gonna run in Kroger and then we're gonna get back on the road. what Oklahoma has to offer. So let me show y'all the lobby. Cadence, why are you on your tippy toes? I don't toes? know my toes right now. This child wants to be taller than me so bad. Okay, you guys, we have checked into our room. Now we're gonna head down to the Grand Theater, right? Grand Theater and Spencer is taking us to drop off our ingredients. There's Spencer. Say hey, Spencer. Hey. <laughs> and here are our ingredients. I believe everything is still nice and cold. The dry ice. Got our fried collard green wontons sitting there. Okay, y'all. I am dressed for the meet and greet for the conference and it started about 10 minutes ago, so I had no clue of what the dress code was for any of these events, but they said it was casual. So I didn't really bring any super casual clothes for the events. So let me show y'all 
what the outfit looks like. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, y'all, so here is the outfit. Um, of course, I did not plan to wear these flip-flops, child. But, I mean, they said it was casual. Excuse me, and I feel like if I put on five-inch stilettos, I'm gonna stick out a bit. But maybe, maybe, I, maybe I wanna stick out, I don't know. Um, this is a one-piece jumper situation here. I have had this for at least two years, never worn it. And this is a blazer, hard to see the colors, but this is like a plum purple lavender blazer here. Yes, I think I got this from Express. This jacket is from Amazon. So yeah, let's go see what this meet and greet is about. Then we need to hit the casino, right? Right. <laughs> So yeah, let's go see. Ooh, the lighting in this bathroom. It's very good. Yes. It's very good. You can see the you can see the colors better here. All right. Meet and greet time. I wouldn't invite it to this one. <laughs> I think I was going to find her. Where I always find her. At a machine. <laughs> this is a humongous place. Who would have ever thought that right down the road in Durant, Oklahoma, only an hour and 15 minutes from where I live, all of this is here. You're never going to be able to keep your grandmother away from here. Never. So big here. Yeah, it's about 20 times bigger. Yeah. Wow. And that's this is the game for the night. Ready? Okay. Oh, no, you should put it on one. This is gonna make it harder. Okay, y'all, here we are. It is Monday. And, oh, let me fix my pants. I got one leg up. I'm having an LL Cool J moment. And here's what I'm wearing for my presentation Low Country Cuisine Chef Coat. I got a purple apron, too, that I'm gonna put on my leggings from Spanx and shoes. Maybe they don't match exactly, but. I want a little bit of height. And these are the most comfortable work heels. I can do everything in these shoes. So here we go. I think we need to say a quick prayer to the ancestors. 
before the presentation. So, all right, come on with us down to the presentation here at the Texas Chefs Association Annual State Conference. You got the dabadooya. I got my dabadooya. You have the passing trays. Cadence has the passing trays. Okay. And you got your apron. You have the scoop. Purple apron. Got Tri the scoop. Tripod. Got the tripod. Got my laptop case. Okay. Laptop. Right laptop. here. Hot sauce. All that's in the kitchen. You so. want that purse? We're leaving that purse. I don't need a purse. Okay. There were two instruments in the bag yesterday. Y'all got that? What do you mean? Oh, the scoop in the cup. So I got that. It's in the bag. Got the scoop in the cup. So mm -hmm. you ready to get out the door? Ready. All right. One, two, three. Follow me. Let's go do this. We've already prayed to the ancestors of West Africa. That's like that. South Carolina, Charleston, coastal Georgia, to make sure they use me to share all of the history and all the good news about the culture and the food of the low country. So let's do it. Here we are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so this is your room. Okay. And we have your griddle, we have your fryer. Okay. I don't know your menu, so okay. can you tell me what kind of, you're gonna give out samples, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. okay. And then, um, do you so I definitely would like to turn on the fryer, get some oil in there. We already have that in there. Okay, make sure it's up to temp. Um, most of my items are in the kitchen. They're pretty much prepped. Um, the ones that they're gonna sample are prepped and should be ready to fry and ready to assemble. But I have some extra ingredients just to kind of talk to the process and say this is how you would do it. I, there's no overhead camera or anything like that. They won't be able to kind of see. Mm -mm. That's fine. We can talk through it. By that point, they'll probably be eating anyway. Mm -hmm. That's the goal, to have the samples passed out as I'm kind of talking through it. So, uh... I would like to welcome a very dear friend, Miss uh, Jolie Bailey, and um, I'm very excited to uh, introduce the chef that I'm working for today, or uh, that I'm introducing today, <laughs> because I actually used to work with her. So um, she is a wonderful woman, an amazing chef right here in Dallas, and uh, you will probably get lots of questions about joining the here the Dallas chapter TCA. So. Um, <clears throat> introducing Chef Jolie, Low Country Cuisine was birthed from a true passion um, and a joy of entertaining. As a young child, Jolie would spend summers with her grandparents in Charleston, North Carolina, or South Carolina, I apologize. And during those visits, her grandparents took great pride in cooking meals for her um, all day. <clears throat> And Jolie spent hours watching and learning and helping, and this is how she developed the techniques of the famous low country cuisine. So I will let Chef Jolie get started, and I hope you guys all enjoy my dear friend Jolie. So thank, thank you. you. And um, I'll get into my bio, but one of my missions has been since I started my company to share the history of the low country and what that food is and how important it is to the culinary scene in our country. So I'm happy to be here. So I want this class to be interactive. So I'm gonna ask questions. I want you to ask me questions. We're gonna eat some food. So I, I, I hope that that makes you happy. Some people consider the very southern coastal tip of North Carolina, all the way down to the very northern coastal tip of Florida as a part of the low country. But really, the corridor between Charleston, South Carolina, and Savannah, Georgia is the true low country. And South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina is considered the capital of the low country. And Charleston, there in the low country, there is a rice that we eat called red rice. Anybody heard of low country red rice before? You have? So, me growing up from here to an adult, 
we just know that if it's a party, if it's a wedding, it's not proper if you don't have a red rice. Okay? And as I uh, developed in my culinary career and I learned about jollof rice, I was like, these are relatives. But if you look at the two rice, they, I did, I have a YouTube channel and I did an episode on low country rice versus jollof rice. And if you look at them, they look almost the same, right? So I was so excited when I made that connection. Hoppin' John, anybody heard of Hoppin' John before? So Hoppin' John is what uh, we eat in the low country, warm Texas toast feel, where it's crusty, buttery, and kind of toasty on the outside, but when you bite it, it's soft. I'm not bored as when I talk about my own food. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the pimento cheese is on there. And so my twist on, instead of pickling the tomatoes, we take little tomatoes and we finely, finely dice them, and we take a balsamic reduction, and we drizzle it so it has a very nice presentation when we're passing in a cocktail party or at a, uh, a wedding cocktail reception. The way our, the, the flavor profile of our collard greens is not sweet. So no offense if you put sugar in your collard greens. Did I say don't put sugar in grits? Don't fight me. <laughs> so I don't put sugar in grits. Okay, good. Neither do we put sugar in collard greens. Ours is buttery and savory. The session is over. We're here at the Texas Chefs Association Annual State Conference. Did we have a great time? Yay! <laughs> All right. Okay, y'all. Headed to the President's Dinner uh, Cocktail, VIP Cocktail Reception, and the outfits, child. I was not prepared for the casualness, but I'm making it work. So instead of my stilettos, I'm wearing these purple shoes. I think I got these from um, Dillard's. And just a black, uh, what's the acronyms? LBD, little black dress, and a little fuchsia purse. And I'm gonna stop by, say hello to the people, have a drink or so and then head out to meet with mom and daughter. So this is what we got. This is what we gonna make work. All right, let's go. Okay, y'all. Oh, look at my hair, honey. The formal events are over. I've done my presentation. I've gone to, hey, Cadence. I have done my, really? You gonna stand in front of me? I have to, I've gone to the president's VIP uh, cocktail reception. And now I'm dressed like Barney because it's cold up in here. And um, I got on a combination of work. This is pretty much workout clothes. So <laughs> we're about to go hit the casino. Now we're here in the casino having dinner at 10.55 Central Standard Time on a Monday. And we're very hungry. We got one more day before we head back to Dallas and get back to real life. She gotta go to school. Don't try to move. Don't try to move. <laughs> she gotta go to school. <laughs> no? She keep moving. 
Okay, we're on our way home. Thank y'all for hanging out with us uh, for the last few days here in Durant, Oklahoma. We're at Choctaw Casino. Now it's time to go back home. I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video. Um, a lot of this stuff is gonna be on my Instagram though. So go follow me on Instagram so you can see the things that aren't there. You know, all the behind the scenes stuff on my stories and all that good stuff. So it's time to get on the road, get back, and y'all say bye. Bye-bye. Kaden, bye -bye. say bye. Okay, remember to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification so you never miss an upload. Remember to comment, like, and share the videos too. So let's go home. Let's get on the road. Bye.